What's wrong with your car? It's crapped out, man. My truck has 200,000 miles on it. I think you should look into getting a new car. No, but, you know, I have a relationship with this car. I mean, we've had the truck for as long as JT was a baby. Maybe you should think about a minivan. <laughs> a minivangina. I don't think so. If you need a car to have masculinity, then you didn't have it to begin with. Your kids love my minivan. You might as well put your balls for sale on Craigslist if you're getting a minivan. The whole idea of just driving a minivan, duh, it just gives me shivers. I just can't. We gave up cool like a while ago. Speak for yourself, Speak man. for yourself, bro. These guys get their manliness from their cars. Meanwhile, I could ride on a Segway and rock it and still have giant thunderballs. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and take this for a test drive. Tell me you don't love this car, Rick. I kind of got sold on the minivan whenever the dude started showing all the cool extras in it, like movie screens. Another DVD player, bro. So you play two separate movies? That's correct. Really? That was awesome. But still, it's a minivan. You can't put a price tag on happiness. You can't put a price tag on your masculinity either. Two things happened during that test drive. Number one, he almost bought a minivan. And number two, when they were role playing, I think he got a little attracted to that dude. Honey, I think this is a beautiful van. I really like the, is this Corinthian leather? I don't think he'll ever admit it, but he knows it in his heart. No minivan. Nice. Instead, I got it fixed and I got it detailed.